Hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to animate a car using an old iCar. So you want to animate a modern car using an old iCar. And if you check the link in the description, I already um, uploaded um, an iCar that you can use. You can use this iCar for all your modern cars that you've been downloading or the ones that you already have before. So to make it easy for you to animate a car. There are different ways of animating cars in iCloud. And before I continue, I want to quickly say that I'm not an English speaking person. I learned English. I do not live in a country where they speak English. So please bear with me if my words or my um, words are not properly understood. Just try and understand what I'm saying. Please, my um, accent might be very strong. So please. So like I was saying, there are different ways of animating card in iClone. The best way I think is using the physics toolbox, but not everybody has the physics toolbox. And you can also use uh, the physics engine in iClone to animate a car. I'll do it around that separately. That's a long process. You can also animate car manually. But somebody asks that he needs to animate a car, and I said, okay, I'm going to make a tutorial and I'll also give, uh, give out an iCar so it will be easy to use for your cars you can use your iCar for all your cars apart from cars that have more than four tires that will be difficult to use now if you take the iCar this perform in iCar just right click on the iCar and go through perform you see that there are different already animated um processes for the iCar so all you need to do is to bring your iCar to the scene and bring your new modern car to the scene now you have to align, it's very important, that you align the iCar um, with your new car. It's very important. You align the iCar with your new car. And when you align it, you align it on the X, the Y, and the Z axis, but leave it at the pivot point. If you align it, um, at the center, it's going to go up. We do not want that. So you just leave it at the pivot point and you will not stop there. You make sure that the iCar is as big, if not as big, but close to um, the size of your modern car. This is very important because of the tires so that they will not wiggle. So while you're doing this, if you watch carefully as I'm doing it right now, if you make it the general size is going to be bigger than your car and it's going to the tires will not be equal to your car so we'll make it as big and then what you need to do you take the transform to the size transform to and you increase the weight or will I say the breadth of the car so that um, the tires will be a little bit as close as possible we just want to align the iCar as close as possible to your new car that you want to animate. Now, after you've done this, take note, you will also need to align the tires together. But this time you're not going to align, you're not going to align the I car tire to the modern car tire. No, you need to align the modern car tire to the corresponding I car tire. And it's very important, like I'm about to do here now, it's very important that you name the tire, give them labels, give them their rightful names or name that you can easily remember. For me, I will start with the right back tire. So I'm going to give it wheel underscore right back or that we order or we underscore back right so that i can easily remember now i will do the front left i will call it we underscore front left fl then i'll do the next one it's going to be wheel underscore um back a or l back left back then i'll do the last one is wheel underscore um, right back some people will call it rr which is right rear rear tire yeah but i'm using the one that i can easily understand 
Like I said before, I'm not an English person, so please bear with me. Now, after you've done this, after you've, you've aligned it, you will also need to attach it. You don't just align it, you attach it. Okay, this is very important. After you've labeled, give them their names, now you will now take your new tire, that is for your new car, you will now align it in the X, Y and Z axis and the center, very important, it must be at the center. And then after you've aligned it, you attach it to the corresponding tire of your iCar. Corresponding tire means that if I'm going to align like I'm doing here now, I'm, I'm about to do the um, front left tire. So if I'm going to align the front left tire of my new car, I will align it directly to the front left tire of the i car and then i will attach it to the front left tire of the i car do not make that mistake don't make any other mistake just do it the way i'm saying it right now so that there won't be wiggling when you're driving the car then i'm going to i'm doing the back left tire now i'm attaching it to i'm aligning it to the back left tire of the eye care and I attach it to the back left tire of the eye care. Then I'm going to do the last one. Um, um, the last one is the the back right tire of the new car. I'm aligning it to the back right tire of the eye car. Don't forget the eye car already had, has all the animations you need for movements. So you align it and you attach it. Now we are almost done. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your new car, the body of your new car, everything about your new car, you're going to attach it to the body, the body of the I car, not anything else, but the body of the I car. After you've done this, you make the I car invisible. That is going to make everything invisible. Then you go into the uh, settings there, you make your own car, the modern car visible, and you take your time to make each of the tires of your modern car visible while the eye car is invisible. And then you click on the eye car without making it visible, right click and go and perform. You see that the car is moving freely and smoothly. The tires are moving great, everything is working fine. You just succeeded in attaching your modern car, you just succeeded in moving your modern car. Like I said before, there's a link in the description for you to download a free iCar. Uh, I can share the iCar because I bought the iCar with my mommy, so I'm sharing it. So you can use the iCar for whatever um, um, project you're doing. Just do this attachment. Then the last we're going to do now quickly is to set our driver and how we can animate and put the driver in a position in the steering to make to make it realistic way of driving so what you do click on the motion go to motion layer and then you use the motion layer to sit the driver up and prepare the driver for driving now you can do this different ways some people might not like to use the motion layer but i use the motion layer so people use already prepared motion for driving but I use the motion layer to animate because it's easier for me to make it as real as possible the way I like, the way I want. So after you set them in position, your driver in position, you take your driver, put her in the driver's seat, and then you begin to animate the hands. We put the hands in position in the steering. First of all, the driver must be at the middle of the steering. So you take the driver to the middle of the steering, put the driver at the middle, and then make sure she's sitting properly and you need to take um, you need to go back to the motion layer and this time you're going to take the hands and put them properly uh, in the proper position of holding the steering you're going to use um, the motion layer doing this with the fingers and everything you put the head in proper position too and um, just put the um, hands quickly we're going to do this quickly now you can do this uh, at your own time 
at your own pace. You take your time to do it, you're going to do it better than this. I'm just doing a tutorial and I don't want to take too much time to do this. So just show you what you can do and how you can do it. Now, I think this is good enough for this, um, for the tutorial, for this hand. So we'll go to the next hand and uh, make sure the hand is properly put in position. This hand is good enough. It's okay by me. Okay, we'll do the same thing. Second hand, put the left hand in the proper position, the steering wheel, and um, we'll now attach the hand to the steering. Now you cannot just attach the hand to the steering for it to look proper. We're going to use um, a different means, a different method to make sure the hand is sitting on the steering. Now you can use the same method of putting your hands on the steering. Also use the same method of putting your hands on the gear. But you must be sure that the gear is a subprop, the steering is a subprop, the turtle and the brakes are all subprop. Unfortunately for this car, we have just the steering as a stop prop. So I'm using steering as an example. You take the box and you make the box, uh, make it small. The size doesn't really matter, but it's better if it's small so you can see properly what you're doing. And you put it in the position you want the hands to be like in this, my case, is on the steering wheel. So I put it on the steering wheel. You can use the same method for any other thing, for any other, um, um, animation she's doing handling weapons double and uh, double hand um, weapons you need two hands to handle them it's better use um, this method with the edit reach target okay so you go to your edit reach and you or you click on your hands you use the picker you pick on the box you place on the hands don't forget to click on the three dots and make sure you enable rotation this is very important do not mind the way the hand is looking right now you're going to um, adjust the hands now we're doing that now so now you, you, you are, now we're using the box as a tool of animation so you just click on the box click on rotation put the hand in the proper position you want it to be and we're going to use the movement gizmo and the rotation gizmo here to do this now that you've done it you like what you see like I said, you can do it better than this. I want it to be quick. This tutorial is getting too long already. So you click on it, put it in good position. I think this position is okay by me. You set it up and then we will now attach the box. Is the box you attach to the steering. Or if it's a weapon, you attach the box to the weapon. Okay? You attach it to the steering like I'm doing right now, and now it's the box we use to control. Okay, now let's go to the second one. We'll do the same thing. We'll make the box um, in, um, a dummy so nobody will see. Now let's go to the second one. I'm going to rotate it to the proper position like I did the first, the, the right hand. Put it in proper position, the steering the way you want it to be, and then. We'll do the same thing we did before. We're going to um, attach it to the steering. Okay. Now I do not think the first, the right hand was properly attached. The right box was properly attached. So we have to go back and look for it and attach it properly. I think we attached it to the wrong place. I think it was the body. Okay. So we'll look for it now and uh, um, we get it and we attach it to the steering. It's very important that they are properly attached to whatever, if it's a weapon, if it's a stick, anything you're doing, it's properly attached to it. Yeah, it has been properly attached. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll make the box, um, the two boxes invisible, like a dummy. Now we'll click on the steering, properly align it, and let's click, or we'll go to the rotation gizmo and you see that when you, Rotate the steering the hands and move along with the steering with the main. Now you can also use the motion layer to also um, edit the driver to make it very realistic. Now the, what we're doing right now is going depends on how many frames you want to go. 
four frames, five frames, you rotate, you move forward, you rotate, left, right, middle, left, right, middle, depends on what you want to do. If you want to bend to the left, then you rotate it um, more than uh, maybe you go to 45 degrees, it depends on how, how, how far you want to go in your bend. So you just rotate it like that, frame by frame or four frames or five frames, depends on what you want to do. This is just a, um, a tutorial so I'm using using um long frames just to give you an example now don't forget to attach your driver to the car very important you attach the driver to the car then after you've done this the car is ready to go hope you enjoyed the tutorial thought i'd give you a quick one like i said pardon my language and um, links are in the description for you to download the iCar and use for your sins and you are good to go thank you for watching thank for subscribing if you've not subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and more free downloads thank you and bye for now